CSS transitions in Adobe Muse allow you to create smooth transitions between the states of objects. Let's take a look at this feature in action. It makes it a little easier to understand. So I'm here in my pigeon design, and you'll notice I have navigation up at the top. I have a pre-order button. These are all objects that I want my viewer to interact with. As I roll over the word about, notice how it smoothly darkens or changes the state of that object. If I scroll down on the page, I've got a nice pre-order button here. I roll onto that button and I get a smooth transition in its color. If I roll off, it smoothly rolls away. Another example, if I come in and roll down to my tablet layout for this design, I've got a menu that's going to push the content down on the page, and I don't want that to be an abrupt change. So that when you click on that dropdown, notice how it smoothly fades out of one state and into the other. I click again, it's going to smoothly fade back up. Let's take a look at how I implemented this in the application. So I'm going to go over to Adobe Muse, and here in my master page, I've defined a lot of this. If I scroll down towards the bottom, I have, for example, a send button. So I'm going to click once to select the form, click a second time to select that Submit button, and in the upper left-hand corner here in my control panel, I can see that I have the Submit button selected in its normal state. If I click there down below each of the states that applies to that object, I have the ability to apply a transition. So I do want that fading between states, so I've checked it. I can then determine how long I delay before applying that transition how long the transition should take, and then the speed option. I can choose between a number of varieties here. I've gone in and applied something comparable a little quicker here up in my accordion menu with that selected. If I come on down, you can see I have it set to fade with a zero delay, but the duration is about half of a second, and it both eases in and eases out of that transition. CSS transitions was a brand new concept to me, so I did a little of experimentation and searching around the web to understand how it's implemented, and I'd like to show you that. I'm going to switch over to another page. What I did here is I took a number of icons and put each in a separate container, and then I applied different transitions, both delay, duration, and speed, just to see how the effect worked. You'll notice down here in the bottom, there's a definition for standard CSS transitions. When you ease, it basically moves into the transition more slowly. So to ease in moves in slowly, and then the balance of that transition has a standard speed for its duration. To ease in and out, it'll move in slowly, have a standard duration, and then move slowly out again. It's really fun to play with. Let me show you the effects in the browser a little bit here. So I'll pull down on File to preview the page in the browser. And if I roll onto this first object, it has a duration of one second, and it's linear. It should be a smooth transition throughout that one second. So I roll on, and it smoothly transitions there. Roll off, it's smooth. On the right-hand side, I'm exaggerating a little bit more. So it's a two-second duration. And what you have is a slow ease in, and then a slow ease out as I roll onto the object. So I'll roll up here, slowly eases in, and then eases out of that transition slowly. If I pull away, slowly easing in, and then easing out. Now, CSS transitions can be applied to many, many objects with states within Muse. So we gathered together a nice list here to just enumerate them all. Between background images, colors, border colors, fill radiuses, you can even play around with font size, font weight, and spacing. This can be a lot of fun. Let's say you have a button, and as you roll over the button, you want to allow the text to subtly get larger. Rather than have an abrupt change there, you can fade to a larger font to show that interactivity. I encourage you to give this new feature a try. It's a lot of fun to play with.